I am Maureen Tara Nelson, MTN Matchmaking, with, you know who, the very beautiful, oh, and that's your last name on it, the very beautiful Stacey, who is my right-hand girl. I don't know what I would do without this girl. Hello, everybody. <sighs> I don't know what I'd do without you either. Don't you guys see that, that Facebook post? You retired, you retired 90. That's not happening. Ah, that's not happening. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey. Oh, Maureen. Hey, Steve. How are you? Wow. Steve, I haven't seen you in a while. I love when people jump on really fast. If you have any dating questions, let us know because a lot of people emailed in dating questions. So we have so much to do today. Hi, babes. Maureen. I took care of that question that you asked me. Unfortunately, professional hairstylists, you asked for your friend. They don't keep the stuff at their house. I mean, I guess unless they do it at their house, but I don't know anyone like that. My my professional entourage, my glam squad, as I call it, um, which I haven't had in months, clearly, obviously. Um, they, none of them have the stuff. Hey, Leah, how are you? Leah's calling from Florida. Leah, Stacy's on as usual. Stacey is always uh, on with me. How is everybody today? Because the sun is finally out here. So I was in, you know how when it's cloudy and you're getting like such a, like, like a rut kind of, especially because everyone knows what's Monday, peeps. We should do prizes. <gasps> prizes. What is everybody, everybody, what is Monday? I know between Maureen and Leah, they are going to say what Monday is. Let's see. Hey, Thomas. Hi, ladies. Oh, I guess it's a delay for you guys, too. Okay. Well, for those of you that um, uh, I know you know this, Monday is matchmaking day, which means I was up till midnight last night matching my clients. Um, hashtag under eye bags. Um, let's see what Leah has to say. Match day. That's right. I knew I didn't have to say it yet. Hey, Ken, how are you? All right. So we are going to have lots of fun today because there's so many really exciting things going on. Our virtual dating games that we're doing and even setting up our clients with the virtual dating I'm actually liking it. And what do you think, Stacey? I actually like them virtual virtual dating first. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I think it's something that even though when things get back to normal, it might be something you want to consider so kind of mm -hmm. active for keeping it an option. Yeah. I, well, what I'm finding is that our clients want an icebreaker before they actually go out and meet somebody in person. And the perfect, perfect solution to that is, is a FaceTime. So, and again, we're helping everybody with it. Hey, Ed, how are you? Good to see you on today, Ed. So what's new and exciting in Ed's world? Let us know. Let us know. You know, remember that girl that your mom, oh, and by the way, say how to say see. Ed, remember the picture you posted that your mom matched you up with that girl? I thought she was really, really cute for you. Set me up. <laughs> um, yes, but um, I'm bringing up something serious, Ed. You posted a picture really cute. I mean, this girl was adorbs, adorbs. Um, whatever happened with that girl? Now, just say if she, or say if she ghosted you, hypothetically. Of course, no one would ever ghost it. But if she did, one of the benefits of we, what we do is you're saying, yeah, ooh, she ghosted you. Well, that would never happen on my watch because we would call her up in two seconds and say, hey, what happened? Chances are it is miscommunication between men and women. It happens all the time. So anytime there's All Miss, the time. she's, oh, she's a nurse. <laughs> I, 
was reading it without my eyeglasses, and I thought he was saying she's um, nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm in a very silly mood today, being up all night. Talk about miscommunication. <laughs> yes. Hello, very, very beautiful, Mickey. How are you? Aw, you're so sweet. She is absolutely so beautiful. Okay, so Ed wants to date you, Mickey. Uh, just so you know, that has nothing to do with screening process, nothing to do with compatibility. It is just Ed saying that on Facebook Live. I just have to mention for the record, okay, because I don't do that. I don't just match people up because someone finds someone attractive. Um, God, these, I, I don't know why I can't see without my glasses. Am I really getting that old? Come on, man. Oh, Tommy, how are you? Tommy looks kind of cute. And Dennis, Dennis has a picture of him with his uh, mask on. All right, I have to bring up the mask thing again. So this morning, Temp and I, okay, um, he was up working with me all night too. He's doing a blog and um, we're really trying to show all of our, all, we're trying to show all singles how we're doing the virtual dating and how it's so much easier because this is what we have found. But just to jump ahead for that story, before I tell you the story, okay, we went to Target early in the morning, okay, and I had to put the mask on. Stacy knows. I almost passed out with the mask. Three times I almost passed out. So, uh, thank you, Ken. So here I am at Target with the temp. Stacy, would you like to do the honors and tell everyone what the temp said if I did actually faint from wearing the mask? Because I, I'm a mouth freezer. Okay, so I will tell you. So I said, just, you know, I said, look, just so you know. And he thinks it's a joke. He thinks I'm joking that I literally can't breathe wearing the mask. I'm not joking. And I said, Brian. If I was joking, it would be funny, okay? And I'd have it exaggerated to the umpteenth level. Anyone that knows me knows if I'm trying to be funny, whatever the story or situation is, it is going to be exaggerated times 10, okay? No, actually, times 30%. That's the real accurate thing. Anyway, so I said, just so you know, I'm afraid I'm getting a little bit dizzy. And he goes, Mom. If you faint, I'm going to take a picture of you. That was his answer to me. Not, Mom, are you okay? Mom, do you want some water? Mom, why don't you go in the car and I'll finish this up? None of that. He's going to take a picture of me on the ground, fainting. Anyway, so I feel much better now that I'm home. No mask. And I realize I, I'm just not... Uh, and. By the way, for those that have been emailing nice things about knowing about my root canal situation, that remember how, Stacey, I was telling you too, the government will let a dentist do major surgery. Oh, her. Well, what I don't understand is that that means you have to go back. To yes. So, yes. To the office, so they will you not. Have to be there once. It doesn't okay. Make sense. But they want it quick. Okay, so the government will says to the dentist, you can just make a person comfortable. If it's a root canal, which is what I had, you can't do the whole root canal. Just do enough to make them comfortable. In my case, it wasn't enough, and I wasn't comfortable, and I'm not comfortable. So, hey, Ed, why are you clapping your hands, Ed? I'm talking about root canal here. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, I was going to go back May 1st, and they were going to fix it then. But it's still so blank and bad. I mean, it's keeping me up at night, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the guy, the dentist, said for me to call the office, and I have to go in tomorrow afternoon. Oh, so we're going to have to have um, either you or one of the other girls take that appointment slot for me because I'll be at least an hour in the doctor's well, office. Great. So, okay, I have really good news for everybody. 
Um, God help me if I forgot it. Okay. So how many people think that on a date doing FaceTime, and this isn't the thing that I was normally going to say, but this is something else that is really um, exciting. You're doing Ron. Okay, so, and Stacy, do you see people tuning in? Stace? Stacy got. I do. Oh, okay. I do. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my new thing. I hope my health coach is on watching. I cheated. You know how I mentioned that I'm back on that great food diet thing, way of life, which I love the food. I love it. Love it. I am just, you know, I was going to say what I am, and then I realized I might be a bit too controversial. And what, all right, I'm a sugar whore. Okay, so I have to be who I am. So today, when we were at Target, hey, Jenny, oh my gosh, we got all these gorgeous ladies. Oh my gosh. Now, Jenny, you. And I hope this is a compliment to both of you. And I hope that you're friends. And I, I swear, I don't know the answer. But Mickey and you both remind me of each other, of being so beautiful. And Ed, wouldn't you agree, like, that they are the two? And Maureen is beautiful, of course, of course. But Maureen, you're one of my best friends, so that's different, okay? These are colleagues of mine. So, Mickey and, hey, John, how are you? John, you can actually answer this question. Okay, so I want to get Mickey and Jenny in a room together because they are so beautiful. And if they're not best friends already, I think that they should be best friends. What do you think, John? And why we're on that subject. John, do you have a girlfriend? Because you know I could take care of that in hmm, a month. Stacy, can you see John? He's very handsome. So anyway, yeah. but, but girls, I'm really serious. I want you to answer that question. Are you two best friends already? Because this is not part of matchmaking, matching up girls as friends. But you both just remind me so much of each other on Facebook for some reason. And again, that's a big compliment, okay? And John, are they not? I just said, other than my, John is the guy that just um, commented before you, Maureen, okay? So John, Jenny, and Mickey, aren't they like one of the two hottest, sexiest girls on Long Island? For real that are at every event and this and that, okay? And Maureen, by the way, yes, John is hot. John, I want you to meet my friend Maureen. Okay, so remember, Facebook Live is not so you can get free hookups from MTN Matchmaking. That's not what we're doing here. We are here to spread the love. If you know anyone that is home and is sad and lonely because they don't have a millennial that even if you faint, you know, it might not be the best thing that he's not going to help me, my millennial, if I'm in a store and I faint. It's not the best thing that he's just going to take a picture of me, but at least he's with me. So that's better than nothing, right, Stacey? Stacey? Yeah, very much so. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, so John, okay. Ma my friend Maureen says you're hot. And I believe you're both from the same town, which I will not say. Okay. And, John, you are hot. So that's why I want to know if you have a girlfriend. Um, okay. So we, as everyone knows, we are doing virtual dating now. Okay. And our clients are loving it because we are putting romance back in virtual dating. Now, have you ever heard anyone doing that before? Because if you ask people when you FaceTime a guy or girl for the first time, do you find it romantic? The answer was always no. It's just basic. You're just trying to check out each other like we're doing now, you know, 
although I know all of you basically. So, and you guys know me. So, okay. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Okay, so um, we have a plan of action. I'm putting, or making, I should say, right, Stacey? We are making yeah. our FaceTime virtual dating romantic. I'm, I'm so excited. You have no idea. And again, the fact that I said we are probably, I mean, we'll leave it up to our 2,000 clients. We are probably going to keep this instituted into our system, into our program, that the first date might just be a romantic 30-minute uh, FaceTime thing. Because that way it's a great icebreaker so that the second date when you go and you meet, you know, for lunch or brunch, it's like you know that person already. Okay. I can't say anything today. Oh, my God. Hey, Lois, how are you? Oh, I'm wearing those glasses again that are crooked. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so question for everyone before we get to your questions, okay? Because we did get a lot of really cool questions. Feel free to ask us any questions right now. But I put out a question. Oh, let me see if anyone answered it. I want to know if anyone is single. What is their dream in 10 years from now to be with their love life? And there's a reason I'm saying it, okay? It's, it's super, super, super crazy important. So let me see if anyone was nice enough to answer that on Facebook. That would make me very happy if they did. Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute, Maureen. Oh. <laughs> Maureen, we better not. I got to take this off Facebook, that request. Wow. All right. I'm deleting it right now. Guess what was just said, but I took it off my Facebook. And thanks. Thanks, um, Kathleen, I call her. Do you know any girl, any professional hairstylist, if she went to someone's home, they could lose their license. Now, first of all, what idiot is gonna turn them in? If, no, oh God, that's gonna be so controversial because I know people are gonna say, people are supposed to stay home, but I know the person that's asking. I know that person is totally quarantined for like two months. I don't know how totally, I mean, we just, Temp and I, we just went to Target this morning. I mean, yes, I had a mask. Yes, I'm a mouth breather, and I have to put it in again. I almost fainted. <laughs> okay, so um, your dream. Okay, thank you, Eddie, for liking and not answering. Now, what's that about? If I'm putting out a question on Facebook and you just like it, that's not answering the question. So I'm going to say the question again. Oh, wow, there's a lot more. Controversy on that question, Maureen. I had no idea. Shoot. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but it it goes along with what I'm talking about and saying. So I want everyone here, if you're single, picture before you go to bed tonight. Stacey, are you still on? Stacey? Of course. <laughs> okay, hold on. But we have to get the questions to don't forget. Um, lamp, oh, and okay, and yes. Okay, so everybody, I think you saw, you know, our commercial. We are back on. Um, we'll just leave it at that. And we had the newspaper channel, newspaper Sunday, a full page. We have a great, great, great contest that if you know someone who is an essential worker and they're single, nominate them to win a free membership. We are giving away $50,000 in free memberships at MTM Matchmaking to Essential Workers. That is the only way that I think we at MTN Matchmaking 
can prove to everybody that is single on Long Island who is an essential worker that we love you and we appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. The three workers I ran into this morning at Target, I said, thank you so much for working. And I look over at my temp and he's rolling his eyes at me. Well, these millennials, it's like, no matter how great you bring them up, these millennials don't even know common courtesy. Is it just me? Or are your millennials doing the same thing? I mean, I don't get it. We brought them up. We told them what to do. We told them to take the right path, just like my parents. You have to take the high road. You know what, Maureen? It's going to be the longest road. It's going to be the hardest road. But you take the high road. If you don't take the high road, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to be able to help people. And you're not going to be happy. You don't have a choice. You have to do it. You got to do the right thing. That's how I brought up both of my kids. I don't know. I just... Maybe, you know what? I think it's maybe the cabin fever. So let me let me take a little step back with that. Um, anyway, quick funny story, really fast, Stacy, because I know Stacy has the questions, and I noticed it right now with my hair. When I cut my own hair, I cut layers and up here, which you're not supposed to do. So yesterday I was interviewing with um, NBC, and I forgot. I mentioned, remember, Stacey, I was like this, and she's like, um, could you not show your boobs? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, I, I can show my boobs, and there's a reason why. And if a newscaster ever wants to dare me to find out why, I will tell them, and they will be shamed for asking, just so you know, in a nice way, of course. Um, but I forgot something else she said to me. She goes, you see your hair, your hair is all um, sticking up on the side. And that's because I cut it and I cut a layer. So there's nothing I could do about it. But it was just so funny, you know, to be criticized like that over, you know, a Zoom. Oh um, okay, let's just, let's make Stacy happy because we do have a lot of people because, again, yeah, I'm, Pe I'm, I'm checking time. I have like 15 minutes. Okay, for people our, in our, during the pandemic, they are asking for love. They are sick of being alone. If you know anyone like that, have them watch every single day, Monday through Friday. We are doing Facebook Live. We are spreading love. Um, if you need love, just tune in. If you have any questions okay. about dating, tune in. Okay. Hopefully, I did public today. Let me just make sure. Yes. Okay. First dating question. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Maureen. My name is Dan. I see you're offering virtual dating, though I am not computer savvy nor smartphone savvy. Are, are you willing and are you helping new clients that are signing on that are not familiar dating this way? Okay. Um, yes, definitely. However, However, they have to have a phone that could do FaceTiming or a computer that they could do Zoom. And yes, we could have the temp even walk them through every step of it. Um, or maybe they might just, hey, Ron, how are you? Oh, he's a hottie. Wow. Are you single, Ron? And um, John, you still didn't answer my question if you're single, by the way. I will flip like I've never flipped if I find out Maureen and John are on a separate <laughs> Facebook <laughs> FaceTiming each other. Could you imagine, Stacey? Okay, so oh to answer this question, you don't have to be savvy with that because we have no choice. We have to do virtual dating now with this pandemic, okay? So we could have just said, okay, uh, we'll open up when this is over. That's making that's my life. Stacy's life too. Stacy is exactly like me. And for those of you that don't know, MTN Matchmaking is a family business. Jerry, who is my sister, and love you, Jerry. <laughs> it's her husband's birthday today. So happy birthday, Jimmy. Um, Jerry has retired three times, and we are trying to get her back. <laughs> 
could get him. My sister is super smart. Okay. I think I should call Jerry. Yeah, yes, because that's how you got the job in the first place uh, seven years ago or eight years ago. <gasps> right. Don looks super handsome. Woo hoo. Wow, man. Question two. Question two. I have to jump oh. off soon. Yelling at me. Sorry, Ooh, no. Can't curse. Right. Sorry. Can't okay. curse. And I won't curse. Oh, go ahead. I'm just. Okay, yeah. Susan wrote in that she has a great heart and she keeps take, getting taken advantage of. Um, she wants to know if she'll be able to find someone financially stable in your program um, and be guarded against those with other motives. I guess she's been uh, schemed. That, that's like, I hear that so often. Yeah. Uh, when I talk to people that yes. call in that a bit like, you know, don't. Okay. Yeah. Today, this sister is getting engaged with somebody I've never met over a one month period in another state. I mean. Okay. So here's what's happening now, and I have to write this down because this is super, super, oh my God, Ed is causing trouble. Ed is causing trouble. Guess what, Ed? What would you do if I told you I am going to be on Chris Cuomo's show? <laughs> Letting him know that he won Best Looking Man on Long Island and wanting to because he seems like a guy that likes to help people. And maybe he would like to spread the news that MTN Matchmaking on Long Island, 19 years of matchmaking, we have now changed around our whole system so that it is virtual dating. So now everyone, instead of being cooped up in your own house, instead of being lonely, you can start. First of all, you're not going to be lonely with virtual dating. You are going to have a blast <laughs> saying it's going to vomit. You started this. Oh, my God. Do I love Ed? Oh, my God. And Maureen, he's hot. Yeah, he is hot. That's for sure. So if, just say hypothetically, if I am ever on his show, Ed, what will you give me? Oh, and by the way, just the question that I had to ask everyone, I want the answers. So whether you see this later or answer later, please, there's a reason why I need this. Picture yourself, you're single now. Picture yourself in 10 years from now. Where do you want to be or who do you want to be with? And what is the situation that you can envision in your mind that you're going to put out to the universe that you want in 10 years? Please add that for me. Okay, so there's something else that people are very lonely now. They're, ca they're calling up and they're telling us. Now, not everyone is going to pass. Hey, bud, not everyone is going to pass our screening process, but that's why people come to us, and that's why we have 2,000 of the best of the best singles. So it's, say, <clears throat> say if someone's very lonely, okay, and it's a guy, and well, it could be either one, but just say a guy, and he's on a dating site. Again, I have to write this down, because this is it's gonna be our blog. He, just basically wants to talk to people, okay? He might be married, whatever, who knows? He just might be the type of person, and has everyone, everyone has probably met people that they just never shut up. All they do is talk, and we hear it from sometimes, even our clients, they're the best of the best, but if people get nervous, they do that. So they're only talking, and they're not listening. So. You might find that if anyone is doing internet dating and you think, well, this is the first time. I hope it's the same um, girl I'm thinking this is. I hope it's you. Love the post you put out. Okay, so if you're lonely and you're going to do an internet dating site, just beware that you're going to be meeting a lot of lonely guys. And what they're going to be doing is they'll have like 10 girls just so they can talk, say, like they can fill up their whole day while they're quarantined at home, talking to girls, not listening, not getting to know the girls, not wanting a relationship from the girls, but talking just to hear themselves talk. Has anyone ever, of course, we've all met people that are like that, right? Right, Stace? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so 
And that's not only talking, probably scheming while they're at it. Yes, yes. But that is what has been happening. That the girls are calling up and saying, the guy won't let me put a word in edgewise. And all he's doing is like telling me his problems. Basically, that guy is lonely and he's getting free therapy from the girls. And people have tried to do it to us too. We're crazy ass busy. We we have no time to waste at all. We know the signs of that. We send them to a therapist for that therapy that they need. Um, but so if anyone has been doing online dating sites, has anyone actually noticed that this has happened to you, that you're meeting a guy and then, again, he's doing all the talking and then he'll say, all right, call you tomorrow, say 12 o'clock. And then maybe he's saying the same things. And maybe, again, you don't get to say a word in, in edgewise. And then also, he knows nothing about you because he doesn't care. He wants to hear himself talk. Okay, so is that what you want, ladies? I know it's a pandemic and I know everyone's lonely. But you just want someone that you could literally just hear and not have input? I mean, we're begging you guys. Ask, because we have dating questions from people that are too shy, because we see you all. But you don't all see you all. Remember that for your privacy. Okay. So here, all of our people are looking for a committed relationship. So why not really start off on the right foot? We've changed around our whole system. It's virtual dating, and we're helping you every step of the way. But people have always come to us for two reasons. And those two reasons, I don't care what I have to change in my program. If they say, <laughs> all right, that, that's too over the top. Never mind. No matter what they say, we have to change. We're not going to ever change the two core ingredients of what we stand for, which is that everyone has passed the screening process and that everyone will be compatible to you in three ways. Okay. So that's that. All right, I'm ready for the next question. Before Stacy yells at me. All right, next question. Maureen, what are your top five rules for the first date? Oh, okay. Um, well, that person should really just go on the website. Which, by the way, I hope the people that do my website are okay. Because they haven't gotten back to me. Isn't that very scary? They literally have yeah, not. They'd be able to work from home and get back uh, yeah, they all do work from home. I know they do. But they're not getting back. And I need updates to my website and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm really worried about them. Really. So, hey, Paul. Hi, Asa. Okay, so um, did you give me a question yet? I did the top five. So oh, yes. The so the top ten are on my website website but the top five dating tips I am going to jump ahead for what you're going to see later in a blog and I'm going to say it to you now okay so if you when you see the blog and I hope everyone follows all of our social media we're on everything okay so there's never a, a second that I'm just idly you know doing nothing um, Unless, of course, it's a Sunday night. There's one hour that I watch Columbo. Right, Stace? And now I like... You know, not to interrupt you during that time. Yes, okay. So, um, all right, so... Mm, with the blog, what... Oh, top man. Top five. The top five. Okay, so on a virtual yeah. date. Alexa thinks I'm talking to her. That really freaks me out when Alexa just like turns on. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try. Oh my God. Later. Alexa. I think her voice, voice is scary. Alexa, how many divorced people are on Long Island? In 2017, the divorced population of Long Island. Kansas was about six people. By the way, Kansas? you have two new notifications. When what you see the yellow light ring on your device, it means you have a notification oh. or a message. Just say, read my notifications. Oh, does not read that now. 
<laughs> your, your subscription to blah blah blah. I, I have time for one more question, and then I need to. Okay, have so again, all right. So watch. Let's look for the blog later, so you can see the top five ways on how to make your virtual dates more romantic. And of course, if you're a client of MTN Matchmaking, we're going to be doing it for you. Okay. Next question. Okay. Hi, Maureen. Um, my daughter is 26 years old, and just like every mother, I think she is amazing. <laughs> she has a great career and a good head on her shoulders. Could you give me any tips? She seems to be struggling in the love department. No, I, I don't want to seem like a meddling mom, but I'm concerned. Okay, I'm sorry. It is Jackie. I think uh, I'm so happy you tuned in. You are super cool. And you have to introduce us in person because we have very similar personalities. Okay, just a quick repeat on that, Stacey. Someone's mom is 69 and... No, 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 no. Her daughter is 26 and she wants to help her find love without being meddling. How could she help? Oh, the mother wants to help the daughter, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How old is the daughter? 26. Okay. Perfect time to come here. If you've noticed that internet sites are trash, you do have a very low percent of being successful. I don't, I would never say to people it's impossible, but you have to get pretty damn lucky. And you have to have the time to go through the vetting process. My clients don't want to do that. That's why they have us doing it. You have to go through dating a lot of people because it takes, yes, yes, Ed, that's who. You have to introduce us. Do you think that we're similar as far as like friends, girls, and stuff? Because I think so. She should give her a free gift certificate. The girl? There's no such thing as oh, no, free. Oh, the daughter. She's saying buy her gift certificate. She oh, yes. Boy, Leah, on the ball, Leah. Okay, yeah, you can call back when um I know you have more appointments, phone appointments than I do today. Um, because I'll be doing other things as well as my appointments. So, okay. But yes, a gift certificate we only usually do in December, sometimes in Valentine's Day. If the demand is up, hi Edgar. And I guess during a pandemic, anything goes. We are offering the lowest prices, just like we do in December, as our way of giving back. So the advice that she should say to the mother, I, I can't read um, that. Um, the advice that she should give to her daughter is number one, stay off internet dating sites because they could be very dangerous. There's just no screening process. And I'm sure the girl doesn't want to hang out in bars because you hang out in bars in your 20s with your friends. You hang out in bars like Maureen and I when we want to hang out and let loose not to find men. Okay, don't do that. We did that. Um, 30 years ago. That was the mindset 30 years ago. Okay, let's go to a bar. Let's find the hottest guy. We don't care if he's smart. We don't care if he has a job. We don't care about any of that. We just want him to be good looking. Okay, that was 30 years ago. And the people that did that are divorced. So now, remember, you have to be compatible and you have to have chemistry. And we're going to help you do that. So Yes, the mom should definitely call us and we will we're offering the gift certificate during the pandemic because we are doing everything possible to help singles find love. Again, on a serious note, if you know anyone that is lonely, don't let them just go on the internet and just start talking to random stranger men because that those men are gaining information about that person could be very dangerous, okay? So here, here we know how to take care of them safely and match them up appropriately. Or just watch our Facebook Live Monday through Friday. If they have any dating questions, 
have them email them in to Maureen at mtnmatchmaking.com, like people have been doing. Um, I noticed, Leah, you answered one of the questions in a text, but it, it's too hard for me to read because it's too long in the text. But maybe um, you wanted the privacy. So, um, but I will answer that later on. Leah, your birthday is coming up soon. So, happy birthday, Leah. Um, hope you have a great time in Florida. Hope you all in Florida are having a beautiful day. Hope everyone that is living on Long Island is safe today with the weather because it is insane. I hope everyone is staying well, staying safe with the coronavirus. And again, keeping up with the social distancing. You're welcome, Leah. Um, just this is the hardest thing that all of us have ever gone through. We will get through it and we'll get through it together. And MTN Matchmaking wants to be a part of helping you get through this. Even if it's just you're thinking one day, oh, I'm glad that I got to interact through Facebook Live five days a week, Monday through Friday. Doesn't matter. That's what we're here for. So if you know someone that's lonely, please just share it. I don't mean to interrupt, but my love phone is blowing up and I have to get ready for my appointment. So I'm going to say goodbye for now to show you. Do, do you not love this girl? Look at how efficient <laughs> this girl is. I'm stressing. I have to run my clients. All right. Me. Okay, go. Go get them, Tiger. Okay. I'm going to hang up in two seconds. Okay. We love Stacey. All of us love Stacey. She is really amazing. She is my right-hand girl. I'm just going to stay on just for another five minutes just in case anybody does have any questions for me. Because, again, there are so many people that, you know how I always say, single people tend to be procrastinators. And they were fine when we had our regular, normal lives. Lepinto, Stacey. Oh, hi. I, I was just going to be on for five more minutes. What's up? Oh, okay. Oh, is it Leah? Oh, okay. So, okay. So we do have a question. I'm going to put you on speaker. Okay. So we have a okay, question. I have give on, you, question is just what she wants to here. Okay. And, and I want more people. E name. I want more people. You don't have to give your name. I want more people telling us what your dream is in 10 years to have okay, as far as dream, a relationship. Her dream is to have someone that compliments her. And okay. so she can compliment him mm -hmm. and to be happy with each other and really wanting to spend the rest of our lives together. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. But I have to run, but I wanted to make sure you got that. Oh, message. thank you so much. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wow. The weather. Oh, my goodness gracious. Everybody, wherever you are, look out your windows. And if you are on Long Island, hopefully you are home, working from home like me. And us, oh my God, it's crazy insane out there. So if you're driving, please be safe. If you try not to go out today, anybody, okay? Um, all right, Asa, more needed son. I, I can't really read, Asa, I think what you're saying is something about my son. So our temp. He is upstairs working on the blog because everyone knows Ryan does the blogs and our social media. But obviously, I don't just say, okay, do a blog. I give him information and say, do the research and do a blog. And he's my son. He does a great. So, okay. Um, Frank, thanks for tuning in. Hey, Bailey. Bailey's shy. See, Bailey? You see what's happening, peeps? It's really, really bad out. It's really, really bad with the weather. Come here, Buster. Here's Buster, the dominant one. Of course, not let's trying to knock Bailey out of the way. Yes, I love you guys. It's okay. It's only rain. It's okay. okay. 
Is that so sad? It's okay. Isn't that so sad when jokes get scared of the weather here? Buster? Buster, you want to say hi? Buster, look. Look. Here you are. You got thunder. Whoa. You know the dogs. Dogs hate thunder. Oh, I feel so bad for them. Okay, so what I would like to end with all of you is this, that there are things that you can do on a FaceTime date virtual dating. We have come up with them at MTN Matchmaking. It makes dating much more fun. You'll still always be safe. You never have to worry about that. You'll always be compatible. And then for those of you that don't remember, being compatible, there's something else everyone needs for a happy relationship, and that is so. We're doing the compat chemistry. I'm sorry. We're doing the compatibility. You do the chemistry. But our clients get to see the photo before they say yes to someone, and then that's when we give the number and walk them through how to do the new virtual dating. So, again, everyone, please try. Aww. Yes, you guys are so cute together. Is it Jack K or Jackie? You'll have to let me know. And Ed. You guys are very cute. Wow, poor Bailey is now. Okay, so I do have to get back. We have a lot to do with MTN matchmaking. Some of you might, oh, this, I have to, this is what we started before that single people tend to be procrastinators which means they would want to find love, but they had their friends, so they would be always going out to clubs, to events, to this, to that. And so it was okay that you were single. Now we're confined under quarantine, okay? Confined. Now we're isolated. Not so much fun being single anymore, is it? Sadly. But that's okay because we don't want anyone feeling that way. And we don't want anyone making a rash mistake of just going on some dopey free chat line and meeting some dope that could be dangerous, could be looking for personal information. There's a lot of scams going on around here. That's not going to happen, okay, with the way we do our screening process. So my point being is now that people have been isolated, we have found that more than ever single people are now saying, okay, I want to be in a committed relationship. So that's why I asked that question about what do you want 10 years from now? Do you envision yourself with someone happily living together or even married. If you do, that's the deciding factor on whether you call 516-444-2861. If in 10 years you see yourself, just say hypothetically, because we don't know how long this is gonna last, but um, still alone and you like being totally alone, very rare, could happen then you don't need to call, okay? But for the most part, what we're finding is people now more than ever need love, and it's not acceptable and not safe for anyone to take a chance when it comes to love. When we've been doing it here for 19 years on Long Island, we're going to do it for you and with, with you. So we wish everybody that you feel safe and healthy, especially today. Thank you all for tuning in on Facebook Live, and we will all see you tomorrow. So have a great day. And